The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Spirit of God dwelling within us. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Philip Mary. We were going to entrust Deacon Yamato and Deacon Caesar as they prepare for their priestly ordination this weekend. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who never ceased to bestow the glory of holiness on the, on the faithful servant you raise up for yourself, graciously grant that the Holy Spirit may kindle in us that fire with which he wonderfully filled the heart of St. Philip Mary. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. From Miletus, Paul had the presbyters of the church at Ephesus summoned. When they came to him, he addressed them. You know how I lived among you the whole time from the day I first came to the province of Asia. I served the Lord with all humility and with the tears and trials that came to me because of the plots of the Jews. And I did not at all shrink from telling you what was for your benefit or from teaching you in public or in your homes. I earnestly bore witness before Jews and Greeks to repentance before God and to faith in our Lord Jesus. But now, compelled by the Spirit, I am going to Jerusalem. What will happen to me there I do not know, except that in one city after another the Holy Spirit has been warning me that imprisonment and hardships await me. Yet I consider life of no importance to me, if only I may finish my course, and the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus to bear witness to the gospel of God's grace. But now I know that none of you to whom I preach the kingdom during my travels will ever see my face again. And so I solemnly declare to you this day that I am not responsible for the blood of any of you, for I did not shrink from proclaiming to you the entire plan of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. A bountiful rain you showered down, O God, upon your inheritance. You restored the land when it languished. Your flock settled in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided it for you provided it for the needy. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Blessed day by day be the Lord who bears our burdens. God who is our salvation. God is a saving God for us. The Lord, my Lord, controls the passageways of death. Sing, Sing to God, God, O kingdoms of the earth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I will ask the Father, and he will give another advocate to be with you always. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son, so that your Son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people, so that your Son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you have sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accomplishing the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave to me I have given to them, and they accepted them and truly understood that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world, while I am coming to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. As you know, we are meeting with my family members, my brothers and my parents every Sunday. And we are taking turns of who is responsible of leading the conversation. And we start with, that, with an icebreaker, and then each one of us has been leading those meetings the last five Sundays. We all wait for this day to see each other, and it's so beautiful. To see my dad and my mom just contemplating how we interact uh, with my four brothers. And I can see because we finished, because the meeting needs to end, and, and my dad is saying, I want to say something. And he's saying how proud he is that we are uh, growing and. And what I see in those words is how proud that if he puts together all the five of us, maybe is what he always prayed for in, 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 in each one of us, maybe. Not putting together the bad of us, but the, the best of us. When we see the two readings today and we see how similar, how similar St. Paul is speaking about his mission. Because if we think in Jesus, he's the missionary. He's a missionary that came with a mission. How similar St. Paul in the first reading is speaking about himself and his mission, and how similar to the words of Jesus in the Gospel today. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm glad that Father Adam is not here and, and he's not preaching because I can't imagine him in his last week here in St. Paul because, as you know, he's going to California uh, on Monday. It, it's, it's what Father Adam is going through. Not that Father Adam is a saint, not yet, but uh, the same experience of loving so much a community, giving yourself away for a community, And knowing that, of course, there were things that you haven't done, but at least the ones that know Father Adam, the, the ones that know St. Paul, you know that in the midst of all his maybe failures and shortcomings, he, St. Paul, tried to do his best. How Interesting that Paul is rising up as a saint with the help of God, with the help of the Holy Spirit that we see in the first reading today. In the midst of a world, in the midst of a context that is the opposite of that self-giving love. 
in the midst of a world that follows so badly a culture of the minimum effort, a, 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 a culture that likes light things. What is the light approach to eat? The light approach, I don't understand why decaf coffee exists for instance. You, you want coffee, you drink coffee. If you don't like coffee, drink tea, but don't drink coffee, right? But, but that's my personal opinion. <coughs> but light things, like light, a light culture. Not the culture of the, the fathers of this country. They were tough, men and women. Yesterday, it wasn't the best temperature in, in the rectory. I think I was at least 85 degrees in my room. And of course, we have the option of fans and air conditioner. But the first one that came to this area, did you have that? The first missionary that came here? And when it's cold, we have heaters now, right? The first ones, the first missionaries that came here? No heater. <laughs> right? So, I think that there is one virtue that we need so badly today, and it's the virtue of fortitude like St. Paul in the first reading. I know that this is going to happen to me in Jerusalem because the Holy Spirit is telling me that no matter where I go, I'm going to find opposition and contradiction and persecution and jail. And I know that you are going to even physically hurt me. But he's saying, but I'm going to go. Imagine approaching the sacrament of marriage like that. I know that it's going to be tough, but I'm going to be there for you. Wow. So the words that we hear in, the, in, in every wedding, right? For good and for bad, in illness or in health, poverty, richness, but really meaning it. Or going to an ordination to the priesthood or the diaconate, knowing that it's going to be difficult. And even though it's, we know that it's difficult, we see men, generous men going there because of the awareness of that virtue of fortitude that is available. It's available when we ask. You know that Brother David and Joe are learning to sing like Brother Caesar and Deacon Caesar and Yamato. Sometimes I please them and, and I said, Bro, you have gifts, but that's not the one that God gave you. But they are learning to have quick answers. They say, not yet, Father. And I like that answer. Why? Because maybe they don't have it now, but that doesn't mean that they are not going to have it. Right? If they pray for, and if they exercise opportunities to have that virtue. We're going to end in trusting to our lady, St. Mark's, this parish, every single member, so that no matter how difficult it is, how difficult it will be, we may say, yes, like you, Mary, with you, Mary, always knowing that we have the Holy Spirit available, we just need to activate by saying, yes, that Holy Spirit in us, like in the life of St. Paul, like in the life of St. Philip Mary, the saint that we are celebrating today, the Apostle of Rome. Let's pray together as a family. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. So so be be Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become for us our spirit of rain. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, we ask that by the example of St. Philip, we may always give ourselves cheerfully for the glory of your name and the service of our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Philip, you bid your church rejoice, so too, you strengthen her with the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we attain. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy their forty feet who pray by sending down your spirit upon them by the good fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into this passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be
bring your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but in the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. Mm. Lamb of God, we take, take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, and have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only seal word and my soul shall be healed. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love, says the Lord.
So let us pray. 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 Spiritual communion prayer. O oh my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Mm-hmm. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass being offered to all the world, I offer you all my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day, in reparation for the offenses committed against the Immaculate Heart of Mary, for my sins and for the sins of the whole world. Amen. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the sins of the devil. May God rebuke him with family prayer. And do thou, Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon the, these heavenly delights, we pray, O oh Lord, that in imitation of St. Philip, we may always long for that food by which we truly live through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
Thank you. 